Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to mask objects or text so that it looks like if it's behind the wall or anything else. Uh, in this case I will make this text look like if it's behind the wall. Um, yeah, this text is motion tracked. I made the uh, 3D motion tracking tutorial. Um, yeah, I will put the link in the description and on the annotation on the screen so that you can check that out. And it would be nice if you could like it because, yeah, I think I don't have to explain that. So, <coughs> that would be awesome. Um, yeah, to mask your text, um, you simply select your text layer, not the shadow layer yet. Sh uh, so just select your text layer, then go to the mask tool over here, the pen tool. Then zoom in, and you can make your um, text invisible. And then you can just make a point, make points there where the wall is like, uh, cut out the wall. like that. I won't make this really accurate because I don't have enough time in this tutorial but the more time you spend in doing this it will look better. So <coughs> now make it visible again and you will notice that it's on the wrong side so go to your mask and click invert it. Then open the mask, uh, mask and go to feather and change that to one or two so that it, uh, the edges are not that sharp. Um, then to keyframe your mask you click on uh, the stopwatch on mask path click on that and then go forward a few frames and then to move the mask you hold control and you have to uh, select the pen to, uh, tool for that and click control and drag that on the right spot again again this won't, won't look very good later but the more time you spend doing this the better it will look so drag that back again, uh, go forward a few frames again, and drag that back again. So, and later when this doesn't fit anymore, like the shape of the wall, then you just add a new point, and then delete it again, and then when you control click on the point, you can manually uh, move the single point, like that. And so that's basically it for the uh, keyframing of the mask. But later when you have to add a second mask for the uh, the other wall here. Uh, I won't do this perfect now. So yeah. Uh, so later you when you add the second mask you just do the same thing again. Add a new mask. And this time, yeah let's just keyframe this mask path, go forward a few frames and drag it to the right spot again. So, um, but this time you won't see anything because you have to uh, change this uh, for, uh, to subtract. Before it was add and now you have to change it to subtract and now change the feather again and yeah, then you can just do the same keyframing stuff keyframing stuff again and if that's uh, if it doesn't fit anymore well sorry if it doesn't fit anymore then yeah, just add a new point delete it and then you can drag the single point to the uh, to the right spot wow sorry for that so yeah that's basically it um, it would be nice if you could like the video and please check out the motion tracking tutorial for yeah, tutorial on how to create the text. Oh, and I forgot to um, to show you how to uh, sh put this on the uh, shadow layer now. So you just select your both both of your masks, press Control C, select your shadow layer, and press Control V. Yeah, then that will fit. So yeah, that's it. Please like the video, check out the motion tracking tutorial, and subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching, and bye.